Hello, I'm Tom Hengel, a Senior Technical Consultant at GlidePass Consulting. Today I want to show you various tips and tricks needed to configure Agent Intelligence, which has since been renamed to Predictive Intelligence in New York. First, we'll start by activating the necessary plugins. Since I'm working off the Madrid release, the plugins will be labeled as Agent Intelligence. They're actually named Predictive Intelligence in New York. There are two different plugins, one for the application and the other for running reports and performance analytics. In the New York release, you'll actually find four different plugins, one for the application, one for the enhanced user interface, one for knowledge management, and one for reporting. I've already gone ahead and activated these plugins in Madrid for you today, so you can get the full configuration requirements for Agent Intelligence. If your instance is running on an earlier version than Kingston Patch 2, you'll need to go to the Sys Properties list. You'll need to find the Glide Shared Service Scheduler.URL property and you'll need to update it to point to sncmlscheduler.service-now.com. Once the plugins are complete, we'll need to activate the proper business rules. The easiest way to find these is by doing a wildcard search on prediction. For this demonstration, I'll be focusing on the incident table. However, you can expand this to the task table and get more records for agent intelligence to run on. I've went ahead and created a new business rule called default incident-based prediction copy. Out of the box, the default business rule is set to read only as a template, so you're going to need to create a new one regardless. This particular business rule will be needed to update your instance. Now underneath the advanced tab, you can see that I called out my specific solutions. However, oddly enough, this wasn't specifically called out in the ServiceNow documents when they show you how to activate agent intelligence. I'll put a link in the description on where to find the code to update the ML predictor and to pull in your proper solutions into this business rule. The next part will require you to have performance analytics installed and active. Next, you'll need to activate the proper performance analytics jobs. You can easily find these by doing a wildcard search on ML. After all this is configured, you'll need to go into your classification solution definitions and similarity solution definitions, configure those, and run the training. Once you've completed all these steps, then agent intelligence should be good to run and start predicting your classification solution definitions. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more ServiceNow related videos.